The charges will take effect from the 1st of October and people will get their first bills on the 1st of January 2015. And the charges that we've uh, put out for consultation today will, ta will apply from the 1st of October uh, this year until the end of 2016. There's two types of charge. There's an assessed charge and a metered charge. Uh, most people will probably be on the assessed charge when their bills start arriving. And the assessed charge is, is very straightforward. For a one adult household, the assessed charge will be €176 Euro for both water and wastewater services. And then for every additional adult in the household, there will be an additional €102 Euro added to that charge for water and wastewater. If you only have one service, so for example, if you take water from Irish Water but you have your own septic tank, for example, then you only pay half of that charge. And the structure of the assessed charge is such that basically children are free. So a two-person household will pay 276, uh, 278 euro regardless of whether they have one, two, three, four children. And that's to take account of the fact that the government policy in this regard is that only adults should pay for water. Children are free. Uh, with, built into the assessed charges and, uh, in, and if you get a metered bill, also taken account of in that bill will be a basic 30,000 litre allowance for every household, for every principal household where people are residing normally. And then on top of that, there's a 21,000 litre allowance for every child within the house. So if you are on a metered charge and you're no longer on your assessed charge, you will uh, be charged for the quantity of water uh, that you have consumed. And deducted from that will be your allowance for the household and the allowance for the children. And then whatever's left over will be charged to you at the rate of €4.88 per 1,000 litres if you're taking water and wastewater, or it'll be €2.44 per 1,000 litres if you're only taking one of those services. OK. That figure for children is, is lower than what was anticipated or, or That's originally right. flagged before the local European elections. Why, why is that? Okay, the, the, um, the original figure that was flagged was 38,000 litres, and at the time that was uh, identified as the normal consumption of a child. Since then, Irish Water have carried out uh, analysis. We've looked at that analysis, and we've agreed with Irish Water that 38,000 is too high a number, that in fact the consumption, uh, the normal consumption of children in a household is closer to the 21,000 mark. And it's for that reason that we've changed the number from 38 to 21,000 litres. It's very important that we do that, because if we didn't do that, then effectively we would be asking households which have no children to cross-subsidise households which have children. And the government uh, policy direction is very clear that the basis for charging is that it's based on the number of adults in a house and that children are free. So we, we believe that by moving from 38 to 21, we've honoured that element of the ministerial direction. So if you're on a boil water notice or if you're on a notice which basically means that your water is not uh, fit to be consumed, then in that instance for the water element of your bill you would have a 50% discount applied. Uh, and if that situation goes on, for, we're proposing, if that situation goes on for longer than three months that in fact your, your discount would be 100% as long as the restriction is in place. So that's a customer protection measure that we have in place but more generally We've also published today our handbook, uh, the customer handbook, which basically sets out a whole range of standards that Irish Water have to achieve in terms of customer service when it comes to billing, uh, notifications of interruptions, etc., dealing with people who are perhaps vulnerable. Other customer protection measures will include, and this is in line with the ministerial direction, that people who have medical conditions that mean that they have very high level of water usage, that their uh, water charges would be capped at the assessed charge. And again, uh, we, um, we would expect that a list of those medical conditions will be identified between the Department and the Department of Health. And then once that's identified, that, that the, uh, customers with those conditions would have their ca charges capped, whether or not they have a meter. The ministerial direction set Irish, wa set, set Irish Water a target that they shouldn't charge more than an average of €240. Euro. Uh, our calculation is that the, this charges plan uh, puts the average at 238 euros, so we're satisfied.